banks. It's a decision that could impact millions of student loan borrowers, and the hearing happened right here in St. Louis. Today, a federal judge heard arguments on whether President Biden should be allowed to cancel student debt. Our Justina Cornell was in the courtroom and joins us now with what happened. Yeah, Mike, so the arguments took about two hours today at the federal courthouse here in downtown St. Louis. Now millions of borrowers must wait to see what that judge decides. I think that if this lawsuit would succeed and if the um, student loan forgiveness would be halted, you have tens of millions of people who will be very upset and disappointed. Six Republican led states, including Missouri, are suing President Joe Biden's administration. They want a preliminary injunction to block the student loan forgiveness program from taking effect. The states argue the Biden administration doesn't have the power to do this. They're alleging that the Biden administration has overstepped its power, that even though President Trump declared a state of emergency and we're still under that emergency, that he's ex overextended his power using the HEROES Act. The program would forgive up to $20,000 in federal student loan debt for millions of borrowers. Attorneys challenging the idea say it costs too much money and would also impact the student loan service provider in Missouri called Mohila. So they help administer um, loans through both private loans and the federal government, student loans, and they have recently taken over all of the public service loan forgiveness program. Attorneys with the U.S. government say under the HEROES Act, Congress gave the Secretary of Education the power to discharge debt. And recently, the Department of Education changed its policy. These folks who could have consolidated out of Mohila into um, government direct loans, they put a pause on that. So there's about 770,000 people who originally thought they would get debt forgiveness that will not. KSDK political analyst Anita Mannion says that could help the government's case. But until there's a decision, millions will have to wait for what's next. It's a challenge and it leaves a lot of, you know, folks with debt forgiveness sort of in limbo about those payments restart in January. So where will they be financially over the next couple months? Now we're still waiting for the judge decision on whether he'll deny that injunction or not. Could be a few days until that happens. But whichever way it goes, we can expect the losing party to immediately appeal the ruling. Justina, thank you.